Then I'm gonna stick this GoPro here in his room. We'll record. We'll see what he does when I leave. <laughs> what are, guys? are you even really sick? Good morning, you guys. We are off to a wonderful start here today. We've got a special day today. The kids have school, but it's a kind of a party day, like sending it off into Christmas break. So Brexy Doodle is wearing his pajamas to school today. Check that out, looking like a boss. What are you guys doing in school today? Mm, we're gonna watch the Polar Express. A Polar Express party in PJs, how cool is that? So Brex is actually ready for school. It looks like he just woke up and he's not ready, but he changed into pajamas, from pajamas to pajamas, to get ready for school. Kirby Doo, you guys, was saying he wasn't feeling very well, so he's actually not gonna go to school today. I'm gonna go up and check on him in a minute. I'm gonna get Brexton off to school. Mom's got Rag Guy at school. Hazy's staying home today. Should be a fun day. Hopefully, crew can feel better, but we'll go check on him in a minute. All right, guys, just coming in to check on Kirby Doo here. Hey, dude, you still think you don't feel well enough to go to school? You're not feeling good? Okay, well you don't have to go to school, but I can't leave you here by yourself, so I just need you to come get in the van. I'm gonna go take Brex to school. We're gonna meet mom on the way, because Brex doesn't want to get out of the car by himself. I told him you're gonna stay home today, okay? okay? Then we'll come back and we can do like, you know, sick day stuff. We can play Hello Neighbor, watch some Dude Perfect, stuff like that. All right, love you bro, I'm sorry you don't feel good. Hey, have a great Polar Express party. Oh, sorry, I gotta throw it in the park. Never know how this one works. And there's Rye Guy right there to walk with you, buddy. Love you, stud. You look awesome. Hi, Rye Guy. Hey, Dad. You walking Brexy in? Yep. Thanks, dude. I'm trying to point to that hard. I know, we watched it the entire way from our house. You can see it from our house. What? We've been looking at it the entire way. Yeah. Oh. Hey, I love you, dude. Thanks for walking Brexy in. He really wanted to walk in with a brother today. Yeah. Love you, bro. See you after school. We're together. Say hi, Mom. Hi. She's back from the gym from dropping off Rag Guy. I just had to just quickly drop in and tell you guys something super cute. I didn't want to say it with Brexit in the car and embarrass him. He did not want to walk into school by himself because he was afraid that he would look like a weirdo with no brother and pajamas. The first thing he said <laughs> is, I'm going to look like such a weirdo with no brother because he always walks in with he crew. He always walks in with crew. Always. So I arranged with mom that we would meet before we got there for drop off. That's why you guys saw the truck pull in right in front of us. We dropped off Maybe. together. So Rag Guy got out, came over, got Brex. They were so adorable. And so Brexton could feel confident walking into school in his pajamas, but with a brother. Hey dude, mom's back. How you doing? Good. You okay? Do you need some toast or something? Uh, sure. Mom will make you some toast. I know your favorite thing when you don't feel good is Sprite. You want some Sprite? Ooh, Sprite. Sprite is always the benefit of being sick. Watching a little YouTube here while you recover. I know Crew told me yesterday, he said his favorite part about being sick is all of the free Sprite. So we'll get you some Sprite. That usually helps your belly. Let's take your temperature real quick just to see how bad it is, all right? Okay. I was looking, I don't have any Sprite. The only thing I could think of is this um, cranberry ginger ale. Ginger ale's gotta be good for your belly, right? Oh, ginger ale's like best for your belly. I don't, and the cranberry I think is actually good too. I'm not sure. That could actually be like a great substitute for Sprite puzzles. It's kind of festive and fun. Might put him in a good mood. Hopefully that works. Let me get the thermometer so we can take his temperature too. All right, let's see. Thermometer, thermometer. Boy, those things are so small. I have no idea where it would be. Sweetie, do you, oh, hey, do you know where the thermometer's up here? No, the, but you take a temperature with. Yeah, this is it. What? I've seen this a bunch. I thought it was some like digital cooking thing. What do you do with it? You put it on your forehead. What? Technology. What's your th temperature? So hot. Hot. Oh. <laughs> it's funnier if I say it. <laughs> It's kind of fun. I remember sick days from school. Like you kind of just love being pampered. You get your special little drink, you get your toast. And even though you don't feel good, you get a fun day of just watching TV, playing video games. I know, I remember that. I love it. Relaxing. I loved it all but being sick. Yeah, the sick part's the miserable part. And toast. Normally can't eat in here, but because you're sick, I'll let you. So we got you a Canada Dry it's Cranberry. It's like cherry flavored. Oh, let's take your temperature. And I think that the... Oh, it's not too bad. Oh, good. Okay. Good, good, good. So a fever. Yeah, what is feeling bad? Tell me about it. You got oh, your throat and what else? Head, my stomach, and the throat. Head, stomach, and throat. Well, the fever, we're lucky you don't have. Sore throat's bad. You said it was hurting like deep in your ears the other day. Is it yeah. still hurting in your ears? No, it doesn't hurt anymore. Oh, good. Just okay. Throat and, and throat, and throat and stomach and head? Yeah. Well, here's okay. some toast and some soda. Just Take a little sip, dude. I went upstairs and got ready after I went to the gym today. I actually am embarrassed to tell you that I didn't actually work out today. I don't do that very often. I sat and made a grocery list of all the things I'm gonna need for Christmas. Just to get on top of everything, I did not expect to come home and have Kruby sick. You know you never want your kids sick during the holidays. Not only that, you don't want it to spread to everyone else. I have to go get Brex in. Brandon is here. If Crew needs anything, he can ask Brandon. It looks like Lazzie is taking care of you. That's kind of the cutest thing ever. Thanks, kitty. You okay, Crew? Yeah. You finished your soda? Uh-huh. How do you feel? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go get Brex and I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Okay, will you stay here? I'm gonna go get Brexy from school. Okay. 
mom just took off to go run some errands, so you're just gonna stay with me. I'm downstairs working, but do you wanna play like on my phone or something? Since you're sick, you could do like Hello Neighbor. I unlocked that third act so you could like explore the house and stuff. Yeah, um, I'm done with this. Did it help your tummy at all? Yeah. Awesome, fine. okay, great, great. All right, you just hang out with us. Hey buddy, you keep him in Fubi company because he's not feeling so good. Do you want some Canada Dry? Ginger ale, you want some? It's cranberry, I don't think you're gonna like it. You keep creepy company, you go ahead and play on my phone, bro. You're sick, we normally don't like you to sit and veg on phones, but when you're sick and you're here just kinda chilling, I think that's probably okay. I'll be downstairs working, if you need anything, you just call down to me, okay? Okay. Okay, love you, buddy. Love you. You just saw Kruby Doo upstairs not feeling good, staying home from school today. But you guys, I know he wasn't feeling well yesterday, but I kind of get the impression he's better today and he might be faking. I'm gonna let him go through the motions of being sick. It's kind of fun when you stay home sick because you get to kind of be pampered. I can totally understand why he would want to stay home. Because one, it's like the end of school going into Christmas break. Two, he gets to play on a device. He gets to play games on the phone, something we don't allow very often. Just sit and watch YouTube, have toast and drinks brought to him. So I totally get why he would want to fake it. If he is sick, we definitely want to take care of him. We want to pamper him. That's the normal course of action but I just get the impression that he might be a little bit faking like might not be that sick so I have an idea I'm working on the vlog right now I'm gonna get this vlog finished I'm gonna let him watch some YouTube play some hello neighbor Fortnite, whatever maybe not Fortnite. mom would get mad never mind not Fortnite. but then I'm gonna tell him he needs to go upstairs and take a nap because rest is the best medicine and that part's not fun if you're a kid and you're not sick if you're faking sick you don't want to go take a nap you want to sit up you want to play games I'm gonna go tell him that he needs to take a nap and then I'm gonna stick a GoPro in his room and then I'm gonna leave and see what he does then we'll find out if he's really sick or not Rexy Doodle's home from school. Hey, be careful, dude. Don't get too close to the crew. He's not feeling good. Hey, how was your Polar Express party, man? Good. Was it fun going to school in your PJs? Mm -hmm. Did Rag Guy walk you into school with you? Yeah. That's fun. Then you have to go in by yourself. And was everybody in PJs the whole class? Yeah. So that makes it kind of fun. Your teacher was in PJs? What did you guys do? Um, we watched the Polar Express. Did you get any treats or anything? Yeah, we got a couple. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. Mom got treats. So, hey, buddy, be careful being so close to Kirby Doo. He's just been playing games, watching shows. He is not feeling good today, though. I'm gonna have him lay down for a nap in a minute. Brexy Doodle, fresh home from school. Hazy, come here. I wanna show him how cute you look. Oh, guys, Hazy is also home. She's been running from errands with mommy, oh and she has done her own little dress and makeup here. So, she went and got on her own Cinderella dress. And let's show them the makeup that you've done. Oh, it show looks them in the light. so, so good. I love it. You know what, Hazel? I feel like I've seen this somewhere before. I've seen that look you somewhere are not before. Gonna do a <laughs> Hazel, adorable, I love it. Now Laz is over here, he's trying to sneak a little bit of mom's lunch. Mom just had a special delivery from a you secret guys, Santa. A very special delivery. I think you know that in the Bingham family we have secret Santas. You draw someone's name and you perform an act of service for them. So today, I was the recipient of a secret Santa sighting. And a perfect service at the perfect time because mom needed her juice. And there it is, Diet DP, I do call it juice. right there. And also, you guys may not know this, mom's been any healthier lately. Ooh. So secret Santa didn't know if she was having a healthy day or not healthy day, so Santa Brought options. Santa brought several options. So my favorite from Jimmy John's is a Club Lulu. Secret Santa knew this. They are dialed in. Probably just because they knew Lulu. Obviously Lulu. Oh. Did you ever put that together? That was crazy. <laughs> so they got me the breaded version and the vegetable version. They call it an unwitch, where it's just wrapped in lettuce, or you can go the full Monty can we with the bread. Just take note that this bite is not from me. It is from me. I had a bite of that. But can I just tell you, I was shocked because Secret Santa may or may not have reached out for a little bit of help on what to get, and I said, don't get the lettuce wrap because as much as she's eating healthy, oh gosh, I love it. I've never seen her eat a lettuce wrap sandwich. Well, Santa knew better than me. Got her both. Said Santa believes in options, both <laughs> holiday and healthy options. Mama immediately grabbed the lettuce wrapped one and went to town. So I was wrong. Santa was right to bring options. And now daddy's got a little bit of a lunch. But here's the thing. If you eat the healthy version, you get to eat. <laughs> You're the Big Mac with Diet Coke girl, aren't you? I actually know. <laughs> hey, do you look at me real quick and say, why so serious? Why so serious? Here we go. You are not doing <laughs> Yo, that. Yo, I'm doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna check in with Crew, see if he's feeling like he wants anything yet. Kirby, is there anything that I can get you for lunch? Oh no, my tummy's still kinda hurt, so but... Okay, just lay there, bud. Okay, you just take care of you. Just snuggling up in a minky warmed by the fire. I mean, that's the life. If you're sick, this is the way to go. Guys, I'm thinking he really doesn't feel well, which worries me because it's like, it's Christmas. It's Christmas weekend, Christmas vacation is starting now. I just really hope that it doesn't pass to the other kids and then it goes by really fast. So we can just get over this, get him feeling better. Too much fun coming up. I know we have way too much fun coming up. So I'm gonna sit here and eat mine. Maybe get him some saltine crackers or something.
Here, Kirby. There's some orange juice and crackers for you, okay? I just really don't That should help your tummy, okay? We're not allowed to have some over here, but just because you're sick, I'll let you. You just saw Kirby do living the high life, the sick life, watching some dude perfect ski stereotypes. One of the funniest videos ever, by the way. Playing on the phone, little hello neighbor. Now I'm gonna go down and tell him that he needs to take a nap, he needs to rest, go get in bed, get off devices, and just kind of recover. We'll see how he reacts to that. If he's smart, he'll react well to that. Then I'm gonna stick this GoPro here in his room. We'll record. We'll see what he does when I leave. If he's really sick, he'll lay here, get some rest, and he'll hopefully feel better. If he's not, who knows what he'll get up to. Then I'll come in and check on him and we'll review the footage. This should be interesting. perfect spot. I've got a great shot of the beds. It's hidden amongst some of the mess on Brexton's dresser. Now let's go tell Crew he's got to come up and go to bed. Hey bro, how you feeling? Any better? Mm, no, not really. A little bit. You enjoying the playing video games and watching Dude Perfect and stuff? Yep. So something my mom always told me is the best medicine when you're not feeling good is some rest. So do you mind if we get off devices and unplug and go take a nap real quick? Yeah. You sure? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, good. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks, dude. I really believe that. I've always said this, like, rest is the best medicine. You can take all kinds of medicines and sprites and toast and all those other good things, but really rest is gonna be the number one thing. Can I keep the phone in my bed? No, let's do like a real nap, okay, buddy? Because then you're just gonna play on it and we won't be taking a nap. You mind? Maybe like 30 minutes, an hour. I just think rest is the best thing for you right now. Try and fall asleep. I know it's kind of hard, but if you're not feeling well, probably barely gonna want to move. So I'm sure you'll just lay right there and sleep. Okay. Love you, dude. Love Get some rest. You're gonna feel better. Okay. Sorry, you're not feeling good. Now we'll see what he's up to. I left the camera recording. At least I hope I hit record before I walked out. I'll go back and review the footage. I'm just gonna let him hang in there for a few minutes. And then in a little bit, I'm gonna go back in and check on him, see what he's been up to. As I heard a noise coming from in there, so I went in there to check. Seemed a little suspicious. He seemed way too happy. Definitely hadn't fallen asleep, but I have no idea what he's doing. I really can't wait to go back and look at this GoPro footage to see what he's been up to. I'm gonna give him another few minutes, then I'll go back and check. Rest up. Are you even sick, dude? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you fake sick to skip school today? Yeah. <laughs> what the? Where did you get all this stuff? <laughs> what the? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> dude, this is. <laughs> I'm sure I'm supposed to be mad, but this is one of the most epic faking sick to skip schools I've ever seen. <laughs> Well, I was gonna tell you that I hit a GoPro over here and I'm gonna review the footage, but it looks like I'm gonna find some interesting stuff. Did you know I hit a GoPro over there? Mm -mm. Well, let's take a look at what you've been up to in here, Mr. Sick Boy. I don't think any of this is going to help you get any better, dude.
This is it. The kids are home from school. It's the official kickoff to Christmas break. It's it just coming. began. It's on. It's on right now. It's this is it. Coming. Kids do not have school until 2019, you guys. They're done with school. The only things we have coming up are Christmas, epicness, radness. We have so much fun. We're going to go see Santa at the North Pole. We've got to break the internet white elephant gift party tomorrow night. What does that mean? Guys, you're going to have to tune in and find out. We are literally going to break the internet with this thing. The most important thing is that it's Christmas break. Who's ready to go play with some friends? Me. Yes, get out there. Hey, creepy, creepy. Uh, uh, uh. What? What? Uh, uh. No, what? sorry, buddy. Sorry, bro. You're sick today, remember? You're oh. sick. One of the things that comes with being sick is yes, you get to stay home from school. You don't get to play. Get to play on devices, get to watch TV, get to be pampered, get to have Sprite delivered to you, oh, toast. Straw. You had a little sip, sip for your tum tum. Sip. But guess what? When you're sick, you don't get to play with friends. You gotta stay inside. Sorry, bro. That's the drawback. All right, dude. Well, you want to tell everybody? Sorry for faking like I was sick today. Sorry. <laughs> but it was still a pretty epic day. <laughs> Guys, come back tomorrow. We love you. Have a great night, everybody. See you later. See ya. You're not even sick, you faker! <laughs> That's kind of